control is advantageous for the group in a number of ways. Probably Jabhat al-Nusra will try to consolidate its forces on other fronts to attack the Syrian government and Kurds weakened by Turkey, the United States and its moderate rebels. Islamic State has been intensifying an offensive on a group of towns and villages at the heart of a so-called ISIS-free zone. US and Turkish authorities say they want to establish in northern Syria. Fierce fighting erupted Tuesday. Islamic extremists in the town of Maria, 25 kilometers north of Aleppo. In the past few days, Islamic State forces have attacked several villages inside the proposed buffer zone, including Asimbolen, al Ion, and Ho al Nahir, in a bid to cut off Syrian rebel factions from supply lines into Turkey. Thus, the US-Turkish buffer zone became a zone of the free ISIS expansion. The US and Turkish actions to establish a no-fly zone for all non-coalition forces, including Syrian government, provide an additional effort for the terrorists. Furthermore, the US President Barack Obama has authorized using air power to defend US-backed moderate rebels in Syria if it is attacked by Syrian government forces. Likely, the US is preparing to defend ISIS from Assad because, at the moment, it's the only moderate rebel group keeping and gaining the ground in the buffer zone. Meanwhile, clashes between Syrian troops and militant forces have been reported around Tablisi, Homs province. Government troops also countered an Islamic State attempt to take control of the area around Jazal oil field in Homs province. In Rif Damashk province, government troops and Hezbollah fighters fought Islamic rebels in the area of Dariya and Zabdan 